day 23. It's actually a little later than that. I missed yesterday, and so I'm going to make a makeup one today. Um, I missed yesterday because I was traveling back to Monterey. Um, I'm at Asilomar in Big Sur. It's my favorite place to be. I'm at a cabin in Asilomar, if you look up. I think it's A-S-I-L-O-M-A-R. It might be two S's, but you'll see this place that also Wayne Dyer did a movie called The Shift. It's, uh, it's uh, on YouTube, and if you just type in Wayne Dyer, D-Y-E-R, and The Shift, you can see a movie that takes place where I am. It's like a 120-year-old um, place that's in nature, and uh, I... I never ever said anything um, in my past about you know energies mattering because I actually don't believe that they do. I believe that <clears throat> all we are is love. So our only stress with energies is our judgment of it. But there is something about coming out here that just starts to take pain away, take stress away, connect me to my body. Every time I come to Asilomar, whether I work out or not, no matter what I eat, I lose a ton of weight. <laughs> and it's just day one of five. And then I go to Sun Valley and perform this weekend. And then I think I might come back here for 10 days. Because in that healing, um, I really uh, discover a lot of ideas for, for new things. A lot of a lot of really excited, impactful ideas. And there are so many things that I do right now in my life that are amazing. I love what I have. There's so many different group coachings that we do and, and work on different projects and stuff, but I can feel that I'm capped out at the level that I'm at. And even though I could do this work at this level and achieve a bunch of stuff and create a ton of impact, I can feel in my body, unfortunately, that there's a higher level that I can go. And fortunately, it's just I have to do it. So it'd be like having channels 1 through 10 on your TV and you just do everything you can and you know you realize the way life society works society is averaging around channel 4 you know you start living your dreams if you start doing this then you go oh i'm at channel 8 i'm at channel 9 i'm at channel 10 and then you start making life happen at channel 10 like i felt like i was doing the most that i could with what i knew in my 20s and at channel 10 you're going i'm i'm killing it i'm at the top of the channels i'm doing what i want to do it's amazing and then eventually, um, you start to learn a ton of new channels have shown up. And you're like, yeah, but I'm killing it at channel 10. This is the comedy career. This is my life. And it's like, I know, you have to get off this channel now. And you're like, no, there's, this is where I'm the best at what I do. I've developed this entire story. I've created this whole thing. And it's like, I know, but we've created channels 11 through 100 now. And I need you to first just get off the channel. And I'm like, oh my God. So at one point I said, I can feel a calling that's higher. So I don't know what it is, but I'm going to stop doing comedy. I could feel that just doing straight stand-up wasn't my highest calling. So I let go of it. And then all of a sudden I got to play with all this world of channels 11 through 100. There were 90 other channels I didn't know about. And I started playing on all of them. And, uh, you know, combining comedy and transformation, eventually the way I was doing it became this, this thing. And now I'm at this place where um, we're really impacting people. We're filling these 1400 seat theaters. I have a book on the way, um, all kinds of stuff. In fact, one of the reasons I'm out here is to write the book. And it's funny because I could look at my life and go, why, why, like last week I was working and I was doing group retreats and I was doing amazing stuff and it was life changing. It was crazy. And I was doing it and killing it and just achieving so much and helping these people find their soul. And something in me said, it's time for you to leave. It's time for you to go to another channel. And, um, I'm like, no, I got channels one through a hundred here. And it's like, I know, but you just got a satellite dish and I need you to prove to me you want to see the other channels. So I need you to go away for a while. And I'm like, no, I got this crazy life going, but I'm stressing if I stay on channel 50 while I know there's a thousand channels. 
So it's going, I need you to go away to a Silomar. I need you to relax. I need you to connect with yourself. And I'm like, yeah, but I got so much going on here. And it's like, I know. But in your relaxing and your connecting with yourself, you're going to discover why you're coming out here because I have even more for you to do that requires less effort, that's more impactful, that will make you feel more fulfilled and it'll pull you. Because at one point you start to go, I feel like I'm pushing. If you're at channel 50 and there's a thousand channels, you feel like you're pushing. When you, it's pulling you when you're at the highest channel you're aware that exists. So right now I'm starting to go, okay, I'm leaving channels one through a hundred to see what the other channels are. And by that, I mean, I'm sitting in nature, just being with myself. Um, Dan and Carrie are in the other room and we have this cool cabin that um, it's just amazing. And uh, you start to go, okay, I'm gonna connect with myself and feel, and I can feel like my body just naturally getting fit. It's like losing weight just by me listening to the channels and doing what I'm supposed to do because it's going, I got even bigger for you, even bigger than the biggest thing you've ever seen, Kyle. You got, I got even bigger for you. And the way that I know I'm supposed to do it is when I feel it in my body and it says, go, leap, make a move. And so I'm making a move to go, okay, I'm here, I'm surrendering, I'm in the woods again. And by the way, it's just gorgeous. It's so awesome here and I'm in the woods and I'm in nature and I'm just happy again. And in this happiness, in meditation, I'm seeing ideas for new movies, for a different movement, for a project, um, like all kinds of different stuff is coming through. Um, and the byproduct is health and finances and abundance and happiness and creativity are all taking care of themselves as long as I leap. Um, and most of us stay on this low vibration because we've really been trained that make money is the most important thing or achieve is the most important thing. And sometimes when they're not fulfilled, it's because they're aware they're, there's a little more trying to happen for them, but they're not taking it, that there's something trying to come through, that there's something saying, do more. It doesn't matter if you're making $10 billion a day. If you're not moving from here, you're you're screwed and there's no price for our soul. There shouldn't be any price for our soul, but many of us have a price tag and they go, yeah, I have a price for my soul. Some of us, it's very cheap. Some of us would go, when I'm making billions of dollars, I'll give away my soul. And some of us say, no price tag. You, I have to follow what my soul says. I don't care how much money's on the other side um, or on the, on the old story because I gotta follow this bigger thing. I gotta move from my heart. I, I can't stifle my heart just because I'm achieving something. It's my heart will tell me the next layer of achievement and it'll be better and better and easier and easier. So I know a lot of times people go, easy for you, I have a job, I can't leave. And maybe that's why you're stressed is because sometimes when we let go of the job we don't like and go do follow our heart, we end up actually creating a calling, a movement, and more money for ourselves. Um, but people are scared to take that first leap, which I totally understand and I totally respect for everyone. No part of me is telling any, anyone to leap before they're ready. And I absolutely understand we're all in different places. Um, but I can tell you for me, I can feel this calling going, get in the woods, <laughs> get in the woods and be and connect with yourself and um, keep going and love yourself. So I am. And that's why I'm here. So day 23.